Watch you guys, got another video on Skype here on, on the infections that are doing the rounds at the moment. And as you can see, I'm using a dummy Skype account here uh, with no contacts in it because I know it's going to send loads of links to them contacts and infect them if they click on it, okay? And I don't want that happening. So I'm using the Echo Sound uh, contact here to make it post links to those. So as you can see here, uh, it's now posting up a link here to say click on this. So if I click on it, it will lead me to a website and it will download an actual uh, folder saying photos it actually says JPE there not actual JPEG so they've made a mistake there so let's just click on that and drag it to the desktop then that their main purpose here is to infect you so now you go and open this and you can see it's called a, a JPE file it should be a JPEG and we'll drag that to our desktop and then what you do is you want to look at the photos apparently and you click on this and you get infected it will should disappear from the screen it will suddenly disappear and if we open up task manager here we should see it suddenly pop up on the screen here you can see it's now disappeared So it's probably sending a message out to go and get something off the internet and you can see it's trying to connect out. B28 and you can see here allow access. You see that pop up the top there. It was trying to do something and, uh, and it's trying to pull down there clean my PC registry cleaner by the looks of it uh, or something like that. But this is the file it's talking to and it's trying to access and pull it in okay, to infect your system. So what we're going to do here is get this off the system. So let's quickly reboot the system. Let's load up. And uh, once this is loaded up, we'll get this off the system, okay? Okay, we're back at the desktop here. I'm just going to try to remove all this junk off the desktop these files here these are the ones that have been downloaded okay so we've got our Skype account it's trying to start let's use the actual echo sound here and you'll see it trying to connect up there okay and there you go if I allow access you'll see it will start to infect okay um, but what we're going to do here is uh, have a look at the task manager here. You can now see it's called 6153.exe and it's trying to uh, infect. Okay, so if I right click on this and open file in location, you can see in the roaming folder it's there. These are the two files. So let me just drop this down for a second. And the first thing I want to do is go to tools on my Skype program, go options, then advanced, and then come down to where it says manage other programs, access Skype or access to Skype. And you want to look inside here, okay? Now you can see there's some files in here, and you can see these Team Viewer. So we know this is some sort of a, a remote support software here, r.exe, it's on the desktop. This is another infection file that we want to remove from the system and we want to remove this and remove that okay these are the infected files click OK and save that okay so now we've done that I want to go back to that roaming folder here and I'll just show you where to get to that go to computer C drive users the account that's infected and you won't see it here you need to show hidden files and folders if you want to go to it this way okay and inside roaming here you can see the files here we're going to delete these now it can't delete this one because it's running so we'll try and kill this process with uh, with that and then we should be able to delete that there we go that's now gone inside here I want to delete these two files here okay I 
Okay, so now we've done that, I want to run Malwarebytes on the system. Okay, so that's the scan nearly finished now, and it's found uh, five objects here. Show results, and you can see let's uh, just drag that open there. That will be the fake um, Team Viewer type of program, I would have thought. And uh, as you can see, Trojan Agent and stuff like that on the system. SMS.exe that was uh, running as well, and we see that in the actual task manager here okay so we're gonna kill this off and run that cleaning process and reboot the system now we'll just let this load up and we're nearly done now we should be in a much better position here Okay, let's open up a task manager here. You can see something else starting there that was running. Do you see that just dip out there? So there is something still on the system. And I'm just going to run Hitman Pro. And first off, I'll just want to open, open MS Config here. Something is still definitely on there. I can see you onto there. Skype. Ah, that was what flashed up. Could definitely see that flashing up there. So I'm gonna take this out, apply it OK. So let's run Hitman Pro here. My PC registry cleaner has stopped working. And that was that file name there. So that was the infection file. So we're just going to quickly run this Hitman Pro here. Hopefully, this will detect it. And there you are. That's the file that was flashing up and it was in the run and we've disabled it in the run area but it's in the roaming folder and I want to remove that okay wants to reboot so I'm going to reboot in a second but I just wanted to make sure that that hasn't gone back in to that location there it has so it's pulled it back down Click OK and save. We'll just go back to the Romium folder there just to make sure. And there it is, there it's still there. So that file was pulling these files down. Okay, so it looks like Malwarebytes missed that one and it kept pulling it down, which would have kept infecting the system again and again. Okay, so let's quickly reboot the system again and see if we've uh, eradicated that issue. Again, let this load up. Now, Hitman Pro wants to remove that file for us, which is okay. Okay, let me just quickly start up our task manager to see if there's anything that starts up, and hopefully, we're all okay. There's nothing now starting, which is good. So I think that's going to be about it for this one guys. As you can see it's not made any latest posts which means the actual virus is now clear. If you do need to run CCleaner to remove any junk from the system you can do so. 
and also run ESET online scanner if you've got any more issues okay and I think that's going to be about it so my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all my latest video posts and also rate and favorite my videos if you enjoy them and I'll be making more useful videos again in the future so thanks again guys and thanks for your support bye for now